Well, hello, Media Masters. It's Angel Tussie coming to you from Denver, Colorado. I tried to do a Facebook Live, but apparently while I'm out on the trail, I don't have any service. So I'm going to record this and hopefully I'll remember everything, whoops, everything that I said and added in the previous, in the previous video. Um, but I just wanted to say, first of all, thanks so much for hanging out with me. You guys are rock stars. You, um, you blow me away with all of your success that you've got going. I was, I was last week doing the work-life balance thing, right? I was in Orlando for three days visiting my kids, uh, celebrating my youngest, Michael's 22nd birthday. Super excited and super proud to be with him. But while I was there, I was there for three days really trying to do this work-life balance thing. And it was harder. Right now that they're not at home, I've been an empty nester for over a year that um, working around my kids' schedule was a little challenging. I would get up early in the morning and spend about three or four hours catching up, trying to get as much done. I'd squeeze in a couple of phone calls, you know, throughout the day while they were, you know, off doing their thing and trying to you know, be present with my family um, so that, you know, I wasn't distracted. But it was, it was a pretty tricky, it was a pretty tricky week. Pretty overwhelming to try and, to try and do it all. And then, of course, you know, just for kicks and giggles, right, I threw in an extra, an extra trip to San Diego. So yesterday was actually in all three time zones. I started my morning in Orlando, flew across the country, to San Diego, spoke for a few hours at the Internet Mastery event, and then flew back home to Denver all in one day. Um, pretty, pretty darn crazy. But, um, you know, sometimes we just got to say yes when those opportunities show up. And that's what I'm seeing you guys do. You guys are saying yes to some amazing opportunities. This week, all this week, every time I plugged into social media or opened up my phone to see it, to read a text message, or um, an email. I'm just, I'm just blown away at everything that's going on. Tracy got her first television feature, and um, it got reshared and re um, re aired multiple times on an ABC network, Channel Nine News. She did her first press release, got sent out. Uh, Jeffrey Cly was on TV. Um, let me think. Monique got a speaking gig. Darlene did her first speaking gig. Uh, Jeff's book is published. Martha's book is coming out. She's doing, in fact, a book event next week. She's going to be on ZTV. Zandra is interviewing some of the most amazing folks from all over the country, um, expanding her her ZTV channel, her TV show, and her network. Um, I mean, gosh, yeah, Carrie's book is coming out. She's got her book tour. Diana's on her book tour, right? Uh, hung out, got to be on the Ellen show. I mean, it has just been a fabulous, fabulous week of success for you all. And I'm just super excited that I get to be a part of that. Um, thank you for all of you that are taking action, right? You're having faith and taking action and making things happen. It's just incredible. So I'm loving that you're using media and exposure to open doors. So. Apparently, I have not been spending enough time here um, at this altitude. I've been spending way too much time at sea level because I'm just out for a walk and I'm breathing heavy, right? I'm out of breath. It's pretty crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm spending way too much time at sea level. But I wanted to chat with you guys about, you've written a press release. Now what? Let's talk about press releases. Let's talk about the benefit of a press release and how super important they are in helping you to spread your, spread your message. I have to run across the street. <laughs> um, it's beautiful here in Colorado, by the way. So um, press releases are the language of the media, right? They are, they're, they're speaking the media's language. This is how they get the news, right? You guys have heard me ask, if you want major media, major media gets their news from their regional affiliates. The regional affiliates gets their news from their local brands. Local brands, <sighs> I'm out of breath. 
get their news from community newspapers, press releases, right, social media, and all of that. So leveraging the power of a press release is key to setting you up for, for that media exposure. It's like leaving little breadcrumbs of your media story. They're 350 words or less. They're just little pieces of your story. And the good news is there's no limit to how often you can submit a press release, right? as long as it's current events. So make sure that at least once a month, pick your birthday, look two weeks back, look two weeks ahead, and see what have you done, what are you doing that is a current event that we can create this media exposure and, and um, create the publicity for you and what you're doing, because as small business owners, we tend to forget. We tend to, to do it quietly, silently, right? We do not want to be the world's best kept secret, right? Loud and proud, like publicity, like, hello, we are out here. We're doing these amazing things. Let's make sure that we're sharing that story. Because if we're not sharing the story, if, if it's not important enough for us to talk about, why would it be important enough for somebody else to talk about? Does that make sense? So set the pace for yourself. So press releases. You submitted a press release. We use PR.com. Now what? A couple things. Many things. Multiple things, right? So the press release comes out. Don't just sit back on your laurels and wait for it to go viral. We need to, you know, we kind of have to stir the pot a little bit. So take that same press release and post it out on your social media sites, right? Post it out on LinkedIn. Um, let people know, look, here's my story. It's being featured on in the media. Send an email to your database, letting them know what's going on, what exciting things are happening in the world of you and your brand. Because most of the emails they get from us are buy from me now. I'm selling something. I want you to buy something. This is a great way to create that energy and excitement for those fans and followers that already know you, like you, and trust you. People want to be a part of something bigger. And so when you send them the press release, it lets them know what's going on in the world. And it's a great way to continue that conversation. You can also send it directly to your email database. I've taught you how to create a media database. Um, not your email database, your media database. Right? Using Google Alerts, right? news jacking to create a media database. And um, any media contacts that you have, send it directly to them and let them know this is what's going on with a little blurb about you know, your potential to be interviewed about this story, what your talking points are, that you are an expert on X, and oh, by the way, I wrote the book on it. Right? So make sure that the media knows your direct media contacts are included in that media, in that press release. Don't just send it, I mean, send it to the AP Wire, get that distribution, but also send it directly to your media contacts. Then take that, if you've got an online posting report, it'll have some really juicy logos with it. Like look through it and what are the, you know, is there anything left with an ABC, NBC, CBS logo that you can retweet and reshare because now that logo goes with it and peop, those logos are familiar and people, you get that transfer of trust, you get that transfer of familiarity, you get that transfer of credibility, right, that goes with posting your brand along with one of those major networks. And if your press release is picked up on one of those major networks, ta-da, good juicy stuff and attention for you. Then take that same link and go to Pingler, P-I-N-G-L-E-R, Pingler.com, and retweet and re, um, take that hyperlink and send it back out into the Google web, into those Google search engines, and give it, give it a second run to get picked up by the Google Analytics. Now, you can also go and to the Google News, right, and look up your press release. And what you're gonna find is even though your press release might got picked up by 60 media outlets or even just 10 media outlets, it doesn't matter. What you're gonna find when you go to the Google, the Google News, is it's only gonna show one, right? It's not gonna fill pages and pages of the same story. It's only gonna show one. So the more that you can leverage 
that one press release with your social media, on your website, um, you know, with backlinks, right? the more emphasis it gives on that press release. But again, it's only gonna show one. You'll have an online posting report that shows multiples, but the Google News and the Google search isn't going to show hundreds or even multiples of the exact same story in the same way, which is why you wanna send and submit press releases often so you can continue to share that, that story. <sighs> I am really out of breath, seriously. I now have sea level, sea level lungs. Is that a thing? I think it is, right? I've lived in Denver since I was 14 years old. Walking at high altitude has never been a thing. You always hear it from other people. I can totally feel it. Like I have not been spending enough time here a mile high. Interesting. Interesting, right? Right? So, all right. So hopefully that helps you um, with some things that you can do with the press releases. And um, if you have any questions about how to do that, what that looks like, of course, reach out to me. I am here to serve and to give you all my juicy goodness, right? All my wisdom. Um, but just use them. Use them as often as you can. Every time you've got something current event going on so that you can create this, this media publicity for you and your brand. So hopefully that was helpful. Love you all. And uh, we'll chat soon. Bye.